Let's play a game. I'm going to show you a number. And you have to roll a pair of dice until the two numbers shown on the dice add up to the number that I showed you. Now, let's add more players to the game. Whoever gets the correct pair of numbers on the dice first wins. This is effectively how Bitcoin's proof-of-work protocol works. The math equations being solved are several orders of magnitude more difficult than the basic arithmetic we played with here, but the concept is the same. Computers all over the world are racing to solve a math problem and receive the reward for solving that problem. Typically, the more processing power you have, the more likely you are to win, but, as we saw with the dice, there's a certain amount of randomness involved, so occasionally even smaller systems can win. The math problems must be moderately hard to solve for the computers playing the game, but easy to check for all the computers that lost out. This is so that the results can easily be double-checked by others in the system to prevent people from cheating the win. That's it. It's really that simple. That's proof of work.